that I guess he had a nervous breakdown at one point and you had to yes, actually console him. He had a nervous breakdown. Uh, we were in, I believe it was Kansas City, and he couldn't go on. And he said, I, I can't get on a plane. I actually had to physically get him on the plane, sit beside him. We landed, they brought his car around, I drove him to his house, and uh, Rick was inconsolable, and that was because of Jim Hurd riding Rick so bad. Here's the guy that's the franchise player, and you can't stand him because Rick knew more about wrestling than he did, and Rick's a sensitive guy, and that's when uh, we were in a booking meeting with Cornette, me, uh, JR, Rick, a couple of other people, and Jim Hurd came in and said, we're gonna cut Flair's hair, we're gonna put earrings in his hair and give him a trident, he's gonna be uh, Spartacus. And I spoke up, I said, while we're at that, why don't we go to Yankee Stadium and change Babe Ruth's number from three to 144. Uh, Jim Hurd hurt WCW more than people understand, and to get on a personal vendetta against somebody, what is Rick, 18 times, 20 times world champions, he still draws when he uh, ratings. And yeah, this, he still pops a rating more than anyone else. Yeah, really. and, and think about this. This was 1988 they were trying to get rid of him. 98, 2008, 2018, you know, uh, 32 years ago, and he still draws money. Like you said, his ratings, when he's on, he pops. And that interview, what I thought was funny, I, I don't know if pe a lot of people picked it up, but I'm sure you did when he was going to go to Saudi Arabia, and Hogan is a great talker. Hogan looked like a fence post the way Rick was talking to him. It was great. Do you think uh, sending him to Saudi Arabia and the payoff he probably received there canceled out this whole to be the man lawsuit or whatever it was all yes, about? Yes, that's yeah. what it was. 